Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, a special welcome to you. You found me. Today, I have an exciting video lined up for you. We're going to dive into my 2023 summer EDC loadout, which I've put together with a focus on minimalism and practicality. I'll be going over my weapon of choice, my preferred red dot, the holster and belt setup, and some other gears that I just can't leave the house without. But before we dive into this, a quick word from our sponsor, me. If you find value in the content I provide and want to support the channel, there's a simple way to do so that won't cost you a dime. Just take a moment, like right now, to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on future uploads. Also, throughout this video, if there is something I mention or address that resonates with you, feel free to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. By doing these things, you are not only showing your support, but also sending a sacrificial offering up to the YouTube algorithm gods to let them know that you appreciate content like mine and want to see more, not just from my channel, but from other creators in this niche as well. Please understand that your small gestures go a long way in helping us grow and continue to bring you valuable content. Your support is appreciated and it motivates us to keep improving and delivering the best content possible. With that out of the way, let's jump right in with La Pièce de Résistance. It is the Springfield Hackout Pro, as some of you may have already seen in my older videos. It is my EDC of choice because of its micro compact size, its high capacity, the 15 rounds, and its excellent ergonomics. To be honest with you, I found nothing that I want to replace or change about this firearm. I get a full grip, which was, for me, it's a requirement. It's a must. The Hellcat, the original version, was a little short on here. It has its advantages, but a full grip is a must in any other firearms I own. But other than that, the ergos are perfect. The controls are right where my fingers expect them to be. The slide stop, slide release, whatever you call it, works just fine. The mag release is pretty good, actually. I have no problems reaching it, so it works just fine. The trigger on this is actually pretty decent for a carry firearm. It's got a clean take up and a very predictable break. The reset is also pretty decent. This is not a race gun, so we're not gonna nitpick. It has gotten just a touch lighter than when I first got it, but this does the work for me, so I am not going to be messing around with it just yet. I'm pretty pleased with where it's at right now. Although I'm pretty pleased with where this firearm is right now without any modifications whatsoever if you're interested in all the mods you can make on this platform i highly recommend checking out my friend over at 360 tactical solutions he has arguably the most extensive hellcat pro tests and modifications available on youtube i'll leave a link to his channel in the description section and when you go there tell him i sent you for the red dot optic i opted for the holosun 507k this optic offers a unique 32 moa ring feature that you know, some consider, and me included, kind of overkill for a red dot of this size, but it does have its practical applications, of course. If you're curious about how these two work together, meaning the Holosun and the Hellcat, I'll be publishing a full review covering both the Hellcat Pro and the Holosun 507K in the near future, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're alerted as soon as those reviews are out. Now this setup wouldn't be complete without an actual holster. So here we have the Crucial Concealment Holster. It's pretty minimalistic in its build. There's nothing too fancy about it and it has all the things that you need. One thing that I like about what they did here because it doesn't have a club, they kind of integrated one around the trigger guard here so that when you run your belt, it loops over this area here and will have this effect basically of pushing the side of the holster towards you, which in turn will be bringing the butt of the firearm towards your body to help in its concealment. Comes with basic retention screws, 
you have one right there and these two screws allow you to actually adjust the kent as well and they are reversible so if you're lefty you just move this clip on this side and you are good to go and as you can see right there this cutout allows for you to adjust how the clip sits this clip yeah <laughs> it's called a clip another thing that i like about what they did here is they've cut it out here to allow for you to mount a red out optic but i like where they stopped as well they stopped right where the witness hole is that way you won't have to always remove or pull the firearm out of the holster to actually check if you have one in the chamber or not you can actually just tell by looking here so i thought it was a pretty cool and very well thought out design and because of its shape as you can see right there they actually cut out this material and i carry this firearm without a light because again i want to keep this as simple as possible as light as possible it's summertime i don't want to be entangled with stuff this works pretty well at the three o'clock and even appendix carry because of this cutout portion here it gives a, a little more freedom to your leg around this area if you know what i mean i'm not gonna show you my legs they're too pretty for you too just kidding just kidding guys don't now to bring all of this together, it would not make sense without a good gun belt. This belt here is made by Core Essentials, but this specific model was made in partnership with Tier 1 Conceal. You can see right there, these are their initials. It's a pretty good belt. It's a very sturdy belt, but flexible enough to form around your waist, and it's comfortable. I've had this belt for about three years now, and I have nothing but good things to say about it. The way that this works is they have this tracks here that will click in the place with the buckle, and you can make minute adjustments as you go so let's say if you started your morning with the setting somewhere around here you know after a few meals you may want to loosen that up they have this little lever here that you can actuate and then widen your belt a little bit and there you go if you just hold you can pull all the way out and yeah so pretty cool belt very sturdy get yourself a quality belt doesn't have to be core essentials but i love their products so this is what i'm rocking well it's 2023 goes without saying i have my iphone 12 pro works just fine helps with a lot of things communication you know the basic stuff it's a cell phone i'm not gonna dive into it but as a tactical tool it actually has a flashlight that you can use in the dark or whatever when you're looking for something that you may have lost in a not so well lit place so there is that I'll be remiss if I don't mention earplugs or earphones, whatever you call them. These are the Soundcore Life.2 XR. They work pretty well, the noise canceling earphones. I have to have them, especially when traveling. They're very useful in blocking out noise and all, especially if you have a baby crying on the plane, my goodness. And the watch, pretty basic. It's an Apple watch, the Series 7. I probably use about 13% of the features that this watch comes with, but you know, it is a watch, it tells time. Um, helps with other things i guess i actually removed the original straps and i got this it's kind of like a metal band it's pretty cheap i got it from amazon the cool thing about it is when i take the watch off i can literally package this thing into something so small it could fit in my pockets in the bag or whatever easy fold tuck it away that's it now down to the wallet this is a pretty basic wallet. I mean, about as minimalistic as they come. It's just a piece of metal and a, <laughs> an elastic band or strap or whatever wrapped around it. Works just fine, can carry multiple cards. It's ready to carry about seven. Clearly I have more than that, but it still keeps and maintain this flat profile that I like. This is the Gerber barbell wallet yes and i got this as as a bundle actually it came with two knives i'm not much of a knife guy but this one is the power frame 2 and this one is the power frame mini i typically leave this one on my desk and this one goes in my range bag last but not least the shades these right here are polarized prescription glasses from warby parker they're pretty inexpensive and get the job done 
these will be my daily drivers they are frames by tom ford they are not so inexpensive and boy did i feel it five years ago when i purchased them why do you have two pair of glasses well let me explain these right here they do transition so they go from clear to dark but they don't do so well when you're inside of a car the glasses around are doing a phenomenal job at blocking all the uv lights which means once i get in the car they go back to being clear even when the sun is literally hitting me in my face they won't go dark that's when these come to the rescue so that's the why behind the two pair of glasses that about wraps up my 2023 summer edc loadout video i hope you found this video informative and got some ideas for your own edc setup let me know in the comment section below what your favorite gear is for the summer months and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more contents to come stay safe train and until next time God bless. I'm out.